The Henry Dorley Zoo got a hippopotamus for Christmas. Mabel, the two-month-old pygmy hippo, flopped a little on the rocks before a big dive in front of visitors. The baby got some swimming lessons before coming out Tuesday. The water's very deep, so we don't want to have the baby born on exhibit. Um, and then hippo calves actually have to learn how to swim. They don't know how to swim when they're first born. And so obviously in the wild, the mother would gradually take it, you know, wading in. Well, we have to control our water level because we don't have the river's edge. Um, so we do the swimming lessons and holding. Mabel was born October 1st, weighing 19 pounds. Just a few weeks old, zoo staff says she's already weighing 76 pounds. And this hungry, hungry hippo will get very, very big still. When she's fully grown, Mabel will weigh between 350 and 600 pounds. That's still about one-eighth the size of the common hippopotamus. Mabel will spend her time between swims and head bobs and resting on the rocks with her mother, Cromel, for the next year or so. Zoo staff says after a couple of years, it's rare to find mother and calf together in the wild. Pygmy hippos are pretty seclusive, independent animals. Mabel is one of 26 pygmies in the U.S. zoos. They're considered endangered because of habitat destruction. But in her habitat, today, it's all smooth swimming. Something that had kids like Owen Nielsen transfixed. They were entranced and <laughs> couldn't leave the glass watching her swim by, waiting for her to swim by again.